Recent developments in technology, like the 360-degree simulation for the application of sport-specific cognitive training and cognitive testing lead to advanced knowledge in the analysis of tactical decisions, sport-specific cognitive abilities and executive functions. The aim of this study was to quantify the executive functions and anticipation abilities, choice reaction, inhibition, working memory, anticipation, in youth soccer players in a laboratory controlled setting using a 360 degree simulation. The training and diagnostic tool offers soccer players the opportunity to conduct special trainings and realistic tactical decision making training in a virtual 360 degrees room. The players can interact with the projection surface as an action in the game by shooting or passing the ball against the screen and triggering corresponding reactions. Methods. A total of 82 male youth soccer players were examined. The circular training device used in the study has a diameter of 10 m, which offers a 90 square meters inside playing field iron artificial turf. The participants had to absorb modified neuropsychological tests for the SoccerBot 360, which indicate the participants' performance concerning inhibition, working memory, anticipation, and choice reaction. The test battery includes five different test items to evaluate the cognitive abilities of soccer players. Design and treatment. The cognitive abilities were tested in a pre-post design using modified cognitive tests of the 360 degree simulator. The soccer players completed a 12 month training period in the virtual 360 degree setting, one to two training units per week. The training was a challenging cognitive motor-driven e-training to improve cognitive. The game targets displayed several times on the top edge of the 360-degree screen, which must be detected, searched for in the entire projection, and then hit with the ball. The player receives a point for correctly hit pieces. The currently displayed game piece and the next three game pieces to be hit are displayed as a preview. Results within subject effects. The 82 youth soccer players show significant improvements from pre to post test in 4 out of 5 cognitive tests. There were no significant differences between pre and post test for the anticipation test under time pressure. There are significant differences within the 4 groups in reaction time for the Stroop number test from pre to post test. In the Corsi block test only the values of the group of under 12 year old soccer players differ significantly from pre to post test. The post hoc tests do not show differences between pre and post test for the anticipation test under time pressure. In contrast, there is a dif difference within the age group U14 between the two measurement points of anticipation without time pressure. In the choice reaction test, the age groups improved significantly from pre to post test between subject effects. There are significant group effects for four out of the five cognitive tests at pretest. No significant differences could be described for the anticipation test executed under time pressure. There were significant differences in performance between the four age groups at the second measurement point for the Stroop number test, the Corsi block test, the anticipation test and the choice reaction test. No significant difference between groups in the anticipation without time pressure could be reported. The data on the differences between the individual groups, post hoc tests, are shown in the supplementary data. Correlations between cognitive tests. The correlation between the reaction times for congruent and incongruent stimulus presentation is characterized as moderate to high. 
The correlation between the reaction times of the choice reaction test and the Stroop number test can be described as low to moderate.